Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 25th, 2023. Well, holy moly, yesterday was a rough day in the market where we gapped up. Everybody was expecting lots and lots of bullishness yesterday. I kind of thought that there might be just a little bit of uncertainty heading into today, but I never would have expected a complete reversal that we saw here in the indexes. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, obviously, um, the bears really came out in force yesterday, uh, reversing after the NVIDIA report, where um, I think everyone was kind of expecting uh, to the large part, a uh, rally to the upside, but boy, we sure didn't get that. Uh, uh, taking a look here at the diamonds, you can see obviously pretty ugly candle here yesterday, and we were selling off into the close. Now, one of the reasons we're having so much trouble here is we um, saw bond yields going up, and we also saw uh, the dollar strengthening sharply yesterday as those yields continued to rise. And I think largely this is because a lot of folks are feeling that there's a, a good chance that the, uh, that Jerome Powell today will remain on the hawkish side here. Um, so with that being said, looking at the charts, what do we have going on here for the bulls and bears? Well, if those, uh, let me push this down here uh, to yesterday's close, you can see in the pre-market we're trying to bounce up back up here a little bit but unfortunately what we um, see here is a little technical damage in the chart where we have broken the upside trend this is uh, this was the last of the indexes to make that happen and it did it in a very uh, flamboyant way um, trying to move higher and then completely reversing to the downside um, looking at the chart, you can see right in here, we did stop right on this price support that I mentioned yesterday. If we broke uh, broke this level, whoops, I didn't mean to mind. If we broke um, this level right through here, then I suggested the next level lower would be that support area right down here. By golly, that's where we went. Now, um, looking today, if the bulls find inspiration, let's look for a retest of this trend, uh, this trend line break, and then possibly even uh, pushing through to this upside level right in here to see if we can push on through. Unfortunately, if the bears find inspiration today, well, our next level down is going to be another pretty painful move. You can see this level right in here is pretty substantial, but the next level down would likely be down in here. And you can see how we pick up these areas of the chart through here on the underneath side of those consolidating points. So that might be a little bit of a painful move if those bears were to push on lower. If we take a look at our SPY real quick, SPY, similar situation, a bearish engulfing candle, but here's the good news in the SPY, if there is some good news after that ugly day yesterday, we ended up holding on to this price support level that I have marked out here in the chart. We held on to it, we didn't close below it, and the better news, we didn't come down and make new lows in the market. So we still run that possibility. If the bulls can find some inspiration in here, find some support in there in this area that we could bounce off of this, still make that higher low in the market. Now, albeit this, this added some confusion in the chart and maybe a little bit of uncertainty, but if they could push back up, well, of course, uh, we're gonna be looking first right in here 
at this resistance to see whether or not they can break through. So if they can find that bullish inspiration, let's look for a push up into here. And if they can push on through that level, then you can see our next area of uh, would probably be that that candle top and then right in here and then if the bears were to continue to find inspiration well what we've got going on here is maybe a failure of this trend and then looking at support in that area of the chart if that doesn't hold then we're coming probably down into here now one thing we do want to keep in mind is if we look at our um moving averages here this constitutes a failure and a possible lower high in the spy a failure of the 50. we did the same there on the diamonds if we look at the qqq well we did the same thing we rallied up to the 50 failed at the 50 and we've got those moving average convergences in here providing that technical resistance in the chart and then even iwm had a kind of a rough day but we'll talk about that one in just a second on our QQQ, looking at this, you can see that failure in here. We failed a price resistance in the chart. We still have that downtrend above that we need to contend with. Big old bearish engulfing candle here on the day that suggests that there could be more lows coming in the market. If the bulls find inspiration today, well, I'm going to suggest that we recover this area of um, resistance now, recover it and see whether or not we can hold up here. If we can push even higher, then we might look for that move up into this area of the chart once again. I think we're going to need something pretty bullish to move us up there, but we'll want to watch that closely. If the bears continue to find inspiration here, well, you can see what I would probably be looking at is I'd be looking at some support down in here. Notice across these areas right in here, looking for a little bit of support. And once again, if that doesn't hold, then we're likely coming down into here. If we were to take out this low, I would suggest that there's probably going to be a little bit of panic come into the market if we drop down through that area. If we take a look at our IWM, well, IWM is holding right on its 200 day moving average. Technically speaking, IWM actually did better than the other indexes in the fact that it didn't um, break that 200 day moving average. We kind of held up in there. No bearish engulfing candle, but um, obviously a little bit of bearishness. We're still stuck in this range on IWM. So if the bulls can find inspiration, let's look for a re uh, challenge up here to see if we can push through this area first. We got to break this little consolidation. And if they can push on through there, then I think right up in here, into that area is where we're going to test in the chart. If I were to draw a trend, downtrend, it would look like this. So maybe up in that area is where we'd want to watch. If we look for um, bears to be inspired here, I'm going to suggest that the first thing we have to do is break this support in that 200 day moving average. And if we were to break on down through there, I think the next level is down in this area. And you can see fairly significant area of price support in the chart. Let's, you know, if you're a bull, keep your fingers crossed. We hold that 200 day moving average in there. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX are reversed back up. And again, the things that I continue to talk about is that break of the downtrend, the hold of the higher low. We pulled back, we tested that support level with a gap up yesterday and then completely reversing, um, holding on to this price support. So if those bears continue to find inspiration today, I would look for this to keep pushing to the upside. And where we could see a little bit of trouble in the market is, is if that breaks to a new high, that would be some panic maybe coming into the market on a Friday. Those, can, those days can sometimes be a little bit ugly. So watch carefully there. If the bulls find inspiration, well, let's see if we can push back down here in uh, the VIX, uh, ease up on some of that fear um, in the chart and hold um, that support in trend or possibly even break through that area to the downside if the bulls really get inspired. Let's take
take a look at our T2122. T2122, boy, this thing has been whipping like crazy. Um, pushed right back down here into that bearish reversal, um, uh, excuse me, bullish reversal zone in the chart. Um, we haven't made the oversold area um, in this, as you, you'll notice. So the bad news is, is if the bears find more inspiration, there certainly is room for some down, more downside here in the chart. We could look at those lows in recent lows in the QQQ and the SPY. But if the bulls find that inspiration, we've got a good point um, here where we could rally from. And we certainly have plenty of upside room to relieve some of that uh, selling pressure in the market if those bulls find inspiration. Now let's take a look at our T2108. I was suggesting to folks yesterday, even as uh, on that on the gap up open in right way options, I said, you know, look, look at T2108. It's not showing us um, that big pop that we were seeing um, in the indexes. And uh, sure enough, um, the sellers really took over here, pushing us back down. You'll notice T2108 broke the recent low here yesterday suggesting quite a bit of bearishness here in in the overall market now if we take a look at um, the next level of price support we've got a ways to go in there we are oversold in the short term but we will want to recognize the fact that we've got a pretty decent zone of resistance up here if those bulls are inspired today 27 uh, percent of the stocks almost 28 percent of the stocks holding above their 40-day moving average Pretty tough to get too excited on the bullish side with that occurring, except for that possibility that we might be oversold. Uh, T2107, very similar, but the good news here is, and we kind of saw that in the IWM chart, is we did not break the lows here. So our QQQ and SPY, we, we held up above that low point. IWM held um, support um, on its 200 day moving average. So this didn't make a new low. 43, 44% of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average. We still have uh, a decent level of support below. We obviously have broken down um, through some areas of support, which now can become resistance. So if the bulls find inspiration, let's look for a retest up into some of these areas of the chart. If the bears find inspiration, well, uh, maybe down in here. And if that breaks, well, look out below if that were to break. Let's take a look at our uh, T2101. T2101, this is not a good sign for us here. Um, in, in, in the overall market. What we saw is we saw the market breadth increasing on the selling wave here in the market. Um, on the buy wave of the market, we saw market breadth starting to decline. And yesterday, even with the big old whipsaw here in the market, we continued to see our market breadth declining. So what that means is, is if the bulls were to find significant inspiration, what we need to see is that we need to see that breadth really expand with the bulls. We don't want to see a bullish move with no expansion of the breadth, because what that will do is possibly um, encourage the bears that they can still have plenty of room to attack. If the bears do attack and we see that breadth increasing, um, again, I think there is that possibility we could run into a little panic um, if that were to start to occur and see some sharp selling. If we take a look at our economic calendar today, well, it's what everybody's been waiting on. What's going to happen next? Uh, first off, we're going to get um, consumer sentiment, but I don't think really don't think we're gonna get much of a move on that data point. And the reason is everybody's gonna have their eyes on Jerome Powell at 10.05 this morning from Jackson Hole, what he's going to be saying about inflation. There's conflicting reports out there. We have a report saying, no, the Fed's gonna just continue to stay the course, uh, continue to mention 2% uh, target, continue to say that we're gonna leave the rates restricted restrict longer um, but then there is um, that um, hope out there that the Fed was looking at the market yesterday and because of the ugliness that they're gonna suddenly say well maybe we've kind of got 
inflation um, on the run here. Um, you know, we've done a lot of speculating, hoping that the Fed will suddenly pivot, and we haven't seen that yet. So I'd be a little bit careful with that thought that the Fed's suddenly going to come out and say, you know what, we've got the got inflation on the run, we can start backing off. I've watched that pretty carefully here, um, particularly with the numbers we saw yesterday, where the jobless uh, numbers declined, um, and um, just wasn't all that good on the um, the uh, durable goods numbers either. It was, in fact, it was awful, but that might help the Fed. If we take a look at our um, um, earnings calendar for today, it is extremely light, not much happening here on the earnings calendar. As a matter of fact, the only notable for today is HIBB. You might wanna keep an eye on that. Looks like it's already trying to pop up here this morning on its earnings report. Everything else um, that's reporting or confirmed today is really nothing that's uh, that has any notability whatsoever. So not much going on there. So it is all about Jerome Powell today. Um, let's take a look at um, are a few stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you can do me this quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and if you find the video to be uh, shareable please do me that favor and share it out on your social media feed that helps the channel to grow and also if you can take that take that moment and click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow as well. It's the engagement with the video that really makes the difference. So sharing it, um, uh, passing it along to friends, and then engaging with the video by leaving comment or emojis or something like that helps a lot. So thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that. You guys are truly awesome. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up. But remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, Oof, the way the market is right now, um, the volatility that we um, have seen the last couple of days, I would highly recommend you be very, very careful because what we're likely to see here this morning is a lot of uh, choppiness, a lot of spinning around until we get um, that data from Jerome Powell and then we may make a decision as to which way we're going to go in the market. So be kind of careful here this morning. But that being said, let's take a look at a few things out here. First off, big tech, oh my goodness. Um, Big old reversals happening in here. Amazon now, um, as you can see, confirming um, uh, another lower high in the market and the possible uh, downtrend that could be um, setting up here in that chart. If that were to take out this low, watch out. Amazon could really start to move back to the downside. You can see that trend, depends on how you draw it in here, but that trend, I get more touches in that trend right through here. Um, obviously, we have started a bit of a problem here. If we look at Microsoft, Microsoft uh, could potentially be a short as well. Um, trying to pop above that resistance, breaking down through that area, a little lower high coming here in the chart. Um, this would confirm itself if it broke down through that low. We saw Meta. Um, having a, kind of a rough day as well, putting in a lower high in the chart. Price resistance rejected here. Um, so watch that close. Notice we've broken that little support area in the chart yesterday. So that possibility that this could move on down with some um, with some ugliness if the bears were to attack today. So we've got some of those big tech giants um, not looking so good here. Um, a, I looked at AMD um, yesterday. AMD continuing to move down. We were trying to get back up here and hold this support area in the chart, but obviously big reversal here, uh, moving back down and making new lows here in AMD, which suggests we're gonna seek the next levels of price support. So a lot of the big techs struggling in here. If we take a look at the oil sector stocks, 
Um, interestingly enough, we saw this week that our oil supplies were declining. And um, even though with the demand destruction that we may be seeing um, because of China slowdown, U.S. slowdown, European slowdown, all of those kind of things going on, oil seems to be holding up pretty well. Um, and this is even in defiance of the strengthening dollar. So uh, notice here in XLE, we did break this price support, but we tried to climb right back up there. We've got a little lower high in that, but we need to see if we're bullish on oil, we need to see that come back up and hold and then look for that upside move. If that doesn't occur, if we see um, oil breaking higher and unable to hold i would look for the next potential short there in xle but they are there are good charts out there like aap still trying to hang in uh conoco still trying to hang in on some bullish patterns so watch that close not all is, is, is terrible here on that front now um if we take a look at other charts um, out there, they're good. There's some good bearish patterns, um, obviously, to be traded in the market. I think Snap could be setting up for another downside move. Notice we're sliding out here toward that consolidating area. Might be looking for Snap uh, moving to the downside. We might be looking for um, a Burlington. Um, to continue to extend here to the downside big ugly report lower high breaking support levels so now any rally back i think sets up more short and retail is having a pretty tough time here in the market if we take a look at utilities utilities might have a chance to rally here just a little bit we're sneaking out from underneath this really sharp downtrend so maybe a little relief coming in utilities you can take a look at some stocks like energy transfer that's holding up here pretty well notice we crossed back up through that resistance area here in the chart we're trying to hold in that area you might look for stocks like that now on the um, inverse side boy take a look at xpsu um, ultra pro short um, here in um, uh, on the S&P 500 that is a bullish chart all day long holding support in here if you uh, want to short the market and not want to um, be on the short side of, of the S&P 500 you can take a long position here in XPSU if you want more of a um, just a single meaning um, not overly leveraged here in a double or triple um, ETF, you might want to take a look right in here. There's your opportunity there with SH. Uh, PSQ would be an opportunity, possibly. Big old bullish engulfing candle there yesterday, grabbing onto some support, possibly finding that trend in here. Um, watch PSQ or um, QID might be another option for a, uh, a leveraged uh, two times. Um, on the QQQ, um, keep an eye on some of those, um, some of the inverse ETFs looking pretty darn good here at the moment. Uh, even uh, UVXY, which would be um, a short on the short term futures, as you can see, uh, nice bullish engulfing yesterday, finding that trend in here, finding a little bit of price support. There may be some opportunities for that to move to upside as well so with that guys hey i want to wish you all a very good day be very very attentive as, as to what happens as jerome powell speaks today it could either light up the market for the bulls or light it up heavily for the bears be kind of um, thoughtful on that. Don't be rushing into any trade first thing here this morning. How we finish this day could be really important. Um, <clears throat> Um, whether or not the bulls are going to gain control or if the bears are going to solid, solidly cement their control of the trend. So with that, have an awesome day. Have a great weekend. I'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. And I want to wish you all the very, very best.